I start around shield. Drown shield, very very solid starting item. Probably gonna start Q. Sorry for the wait, guys. Just dealing with some stuff. Okay, I'm playing Zed mid versus, I believe, Annie. Um, Annie actually has a very powerful early game, contrary to popular belief, but I think with Duran's shield, I should be able to just easily stay in lane versus her. Oh, crap, I missed this, yes. She charged up her stun in base, meaning she started with W. Gotta be a little bit careful. Don't wanna walk up and take free poke. Her auto attacks shouldn't be doing very much damage to me because of my Duran's shield start. She is careful not to use her W on me when I'm staying in the creep wave because I would push the lane up maybe unnecessarily, unnecessarily hard. I guess she wants to avoid doing that. Yeah, I got pretty low off that though. Popping a health pot. Her stun's up soon. I still don't have my W. I really need that. If I get ganked with her having stun up, it could be bad. Eve is intelligently looking for a gank top. That's probably our best bet right now. That Renekton looks pretty overextended. Oh god. Probably did. And the double anti scion stun gank. That was pretty intense. I would have flashed, but Annie already connected her Q. It was midair on me when I got my W off, so. My only fate there was death. They have no flashes now. So at least I'm not gonna get hit by that, that crazy of a gank for a few minutes. Um, I just need to try to farm out and get some levels in. Even though Annie got first, or not first blood, but even though Annie got a kill, I'm pretty confident I can keep making plays on her as soon as I get some levels in. Why is my Pandora keep crashing? One second. 
Oh, never mind. I guess a new song just started. She has doubled her on Zerang and I'm just singing on a long sword. It's a bit difficult. try to keep focusing me down with ganks, but because my flash is still up, that's probably not the best. I mean, if they can blow my flash, that'll be worth it for them, but I don't know if it's the best investment of their time. Yeah, I saw that coming. Hit ghost. Wait, what the hell? Sign didn't even go- oh, Sign ghosted me on his last gang. I was like, how the hell is he so fast? I'm pretty stupid. That would explain a lot. Eh, that wasn't a good trade. It's a huge creep wave there. Popping two health pots. If I can hit six around the same time, then I can kill her. Key is down for like two more seconds. She's hit level 6. She has over half a level on me. It's not good. <laughs> Flash down for a while though. It's good. Just gotta be careful not to get hit by a Tibber stun. What the hell, I'm so close to 6. And he hasn't hit 6 in one creep. Let her walk up to me with the premise of her being able to get the stun off. And then I just got my ult, popped it on her as she used her Q. However, because the Q didn't connect, um, her stun mark was not wasted, so she was able to stun me as soon as I ulted her. But I still had the damage punch to kill her, and knowing she had no flash, I just flashed after her. Got my W back up, and picked up the kill. Rush Brutalizer here. Get health pots, and award, and head back mid. He's probably getting their blue. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that right now. So push up mid. Oh, she was doing race, I believe. That does quite a bit of damage. Oh shit. Blue's low. Thank you. And he's going to take their blue right now. I have ult back up. No flash. Her flash is actually going to be up right now. So. Thank god I wasn't getting sandwiched by Scion there. That would have sucked. I'm so swift. Mm -hmm. I gotta get a ward down on 
on this side. Pretty scared to go for it though. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I got it. We're good. Scion is hovering around mid. Maybe he's going bot, I'm not sure. Damn, they wasted the glass spot. Yeah, it's going bot, I'm coming. Get the Nami. No technique is going for the creep wave. If I ulted her immediately, she wouldn't be able to flash out of that. That's unfortunate. I thought she flashed uh, when she was trying to drop turret aggro, but that was a bad assumption to make. I had plenty of time to get my ult off after my W. Silly me. Oh, he's probably dead. No. Builds rider here and boots. I have just snuggle for both of them. Hang back mid. I stayed bot knowing they'd probably come back to the turret. Um, having blue gave me confidence for going to go for that play. And with Kate so near, I was able to pick up the kill on the bot lane. This and he has red buff. Kind of scary. <laughs> Careful. And he's coming. Her stun is up. I can building. Damn, he's just building pure damage. I bet I could easily run top here. Take top turret together. I'll probably lose mid. Actually, what's mid turret health at? Nah, he can take top turret. I'm gonna go defend mid. <laughs> and he has ult, and I don't have ult, so there's no reason. There's no chance I can fight her. And there's no reason I should fight her. So I'm gonna stay mid and try to protect the turret. Seven. Oh no! Oh my God! Uh, try to come. Well, this is in 
10 seconds. I got stunned after I went in, otherwise I would have been way cleaner. I wasn't able to get my ult off before she cast her Q. Got my blade now though, I'm ridiculously huge. Blade plus Brutalizer at 15 minutes is very very nice. Our blue's up too, just waiting to be collected. And now I have blade, I can easily solo view blue by myself. Although Blade gives you a lot of like kind of unnecessary stats, such as attack speed, that doesn't really synergize that well with Zed's kit. The fact that Blade is just such a strong item, due to the kill combo potential it gives you, uh, combined with your ultimate, just makes it like a must um, almost every time you play Zed, in my opinion. It's just too good to pass up on. Okay. Let me go for Dragon. I'm just running around, farming the jungle. I don't know if this is worded. Killed Sion, stopped him from doing dragon and chunked them all really low. That was well worth it. And he's flash should be down, I believe. My blade's down for 30 seconds, 40 seconds. My ult's down for 30. I'm gonna keep pushing mid up. I thought, he just, I thought he was trying to get his recall off. He's on to me. Nice job. Alt up in 4, blades up in about 15 seconds or so. I did a quick assessment of Sion's items when, I, when he was walking up here with the Obus. I saw he only had Zerker's Greaves and a Spirit of the Ancient Golem, and me having Brutalizer plus Blade just reassures me that I have the damage punch to kill him. Trying to recall, waiting for the ward to fade. So I ran into their jungle. Guy's probably doing double golems, he may go back bot to fight K after. Time to back. <laughs> Damn, there's so much CC on the team. I need Merc Treads here. And let's throw in. Let's throw in the components to last just for why don't we? They're starting to get some armor, specifically Annie and Scion. Ezra's gonna work on Frozen Fist next. Reddington's probably gonna finish that Sunfire Cape. I can pretty much predict the next few items they're gonna get, and they all sort of warrant a last for next. Get 
giving a false sense of security, showing him I'm just interested in going for the creeps. But then. I'm actually just gonna go and kill them both. This guy's dead. Alt up in a minute, just gonna keep pushing bot. Me and Cake can go hard for this turret. Alton 10, I'm just gonna chill in this brush. Ah, I saw they right up. I just thought they'd be around, but. Gimme it. Played so early there. I'm just gonna go back to buy here. Get last whisper, and what is their primary primary damage type? Looking at it right now, I'd say physical, so I'm gonna get chain bus, and I'm just gonna head back mid. If it was magic, I'd probably get a negatron cloak. Both of which build into my eventual GA, which I view as a very core item on Zed. I had wasted all my energy trying to kill the red buff, that's why when I went for the Annie, it seemed a bit weird. It's because I didn't have enough uh, energy to use my Q and E. And just blow her up instantly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The They're on to me. Got the wraith and got out. If that Nami bubble hit me, could have been bad. But I was able to avoid it, thankfully. I'm just gonna push this wave up. Damn. So many people here.
I use my W to dodge the Ezreal ult right here. Kaelin thankfully was able to finish him off with her ult, otherwise that could have potentially been bad. Alright, so I got my GA now. I'm pretty much indestructible. Even if I die, I'll just come back and continue wreaking havoc. I just want to dive into their base for some reason. I just think like it's a good idea. Hey! Get him. Nice job. I can come back in. Still got my GA, I'll help a brother out. Oh, he died. Whatever. We in the mix though. Oh, I missed. Oh my god, I did. LPL plays Pantheon all the time. They just, they love him. They'll play him anywhere. I'm gonna head back bot, look for more kills. My GA didn't end up getting popped during that fight, so I still got some juice left in me. I'm actually just gonna run in and try to hit, hit that in him. Actually, fuck. Nah, there's too many people close to the base. I'm just gonna clear the wave. No, I could have flashed. GG. I should have flashed. I thought I'd be able to live for another tick of damage. My bad. Good game. Finished off my Z trifecta with a black lever, but it doesn't really matter. Oh my god, Evil would have died tsunami there if the surrender didn't go off. 
decline crash. All right, so pretty solid Zed game. I actually gave up. I actually died to the Scion Annie gank early on, but then I, like I said, after that death, I was pretty confident because Annie had no flash that I'd be able to outplay her and just start coming back strong. All it took was one kill on her. I picked up my early Brutalizer and I came back to lane and just started roaming the map and making plays. Um, everyone on my team actually played pretty well. Shivana had a little bit of difficulty early on versus her Nectin, just as I had versus Annie, but in the end, it's not how you start <coughs> that matters, it's how you finish. And we ended up winning the game, so props to us. I'm going to play an ad real fast, guys. I'm going to be right back real quick. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And